Member of Parliament, representative of the Education Ministry, His Worship the Mayor Winston Maraj, Councillor Joel Williams, Acting Principal Mr. Jeffrey Douglas, the Chairman of the Board, Mr. Cecil Morgan, Vice Chairman Mrs. Singh, PTA President. Mrs. Heatherly Grant, our guest speaker, Ms. Nadine A. Malloy, the academic staff, administrative staff, and ancillary staff, parents, community members, graduates, everyone, good afternoon. A very good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to celebrate. Celebrating the graduating class of 2023. And we extend a very warm welcome to each and every one of you as you have joined us on this journey this afternoon. We are your moderators. I am Jeffrey Dawkins. And I am Haricia Brown. Indeed, good afternoon, everyone. And already I can see a number of individuals you are fanning away because it's a, a little bit warmer than usual. Just a little bit. <laughs> but don't worry, we will be getting you out of here in no time. But I am going to be inviting all the family members, community members, and supporters of the graduates. Can you put your hands together and give them a big round of applause? They have come thus far, and we are here to celebrate with them. Am I right? Indeed. We are all here to celebrate. So as we move right into our program, ladies and gentlemen, I invite everyone to join us as we will be having the opening song, We Build Our School. And I hope that we have members of the band who can give us some support with uh, the music. We build our school on thee, O Lord. To thee we bring our common need. The loving heart, the helpful word, the tender thought, the kindly deed. We build our school on thee, O oh Lord, to thee we bring our God. The loving heart, the helpful word, the tender thought, the kindly deeds hey, we pray. We work together. We work. Touch 
and he'll be doing the opening prayer. Let's bow our heads. Kind God and Father, we thank you for this afternoon. We bless your name, Lord, because it is because of your mercies why we are here. Thank you, Lord, that amidst the many things that have happened, oh, we celebrate the fact that we are here this afternoon to praise your name. We thank you for the Dembe High School family. Thank you for these uh, students who have journeyed all of five years. We do recognize the many things that have happened to so many other students who didn't make it to this time. And so, Lord, we pause and we say thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. And so we pray, Lord, that as we proceed in this graduation exercise that your divine grace will be with us we pray for the moderators we pray for all the items that will come lord we pray that all things will be done to the glory and to your honor for we ask these and other mercies in the name of him who taught us when we pray to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so very much, Reverend Spence. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do remain standing with us a little while longer as we'll be having the scripture reading at this time. It is taken from Philippians chapter 4, reading from verse 4 through to verse 9. And I will invite Nake Rowe Austin and Tiana Blackstock. They're coming to read for us and the reading will be done in both English and Spanish. Good afternoon, everyone. As Sir said, the scripture reading will be taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 9. We will read in English and Spanish. Buenas tardes a todos. La lectura de hoy se toma de Filipenses 4, de versículo 4 hasta 9. Vamos a leer en inglés y español. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Regocijense en el Señor siempre. Otra vez digo, regocijense. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Nuestra gentileza sea conocida de todos los hombres. El Señor está cerca. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Por nada estén afanosos, sino sean conocidas nuestras peticiones 
delante de Dios en toda oración y ruego con acción de gracia. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Y la paz de Dios, que sobrepasa todo entendimiento, guardará nuestros corazones y nuestros pensamientos en Cristo Jesús. Finally, brethren, what Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Por lo demás, hermanos, todo lo que es verdadero, todo lo honesto, todo lo justo, todo lo puro, todo lo amable, todo lo, que de, todo lo que es de buen nombre, si hay virtud alguna, si algo digno de alabanza, en esto piensen. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the peace of God will be with you. Lo que aprendieron y recibieron y oyeron y vieron en mí, esto hagan, y el Dios de paz estará con ustedes. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Aquí termina la lectura de la palabra santa de Dios. La honramos por decir, gracias a Dios. All right, all right. So, so I heard... Uh, I heard that round of applause, you know, but I think they deserve a better. I think they right? deserve a much yeah. bigger round of applause. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, indeed, it's, it's not easy to come up here, you know, and uh, to give such a lovely reading of the word, right? And especially the Spanish version. Yes. But I tell you, Brown, um, you know, when I came and took back the microphone, I was just ready to roll off some Spanish, you know. But then I remember that I don't do so well in Spanish. The only thing I know is bueno, which means hello. Mirang? All right, cut the part out of the, the video, please. All right, so we'll just keep that one as a secret, right? So we all know what bueno means, right? Good. All right, so let's Good. leave it there. <laughs> I heard it over there. All right, all right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, to make everyone feel even more welcome, I will be inviting Mr. Joel Williams, or dare I say, Councillor Williams. He is coming, uh, representing the Denver High School Board of Governors. Put your hands together for him as he comes to do the official welcome. Mr. Moderator, Jeffrey, and Ms. Brown. Acting Principal, Mr. Jeffrey Dawkins, Douglas, <laughs> sorry, Douglas, <laughs> Douglas, Vice Principal, Ms. Denton, Keynote Speaker, Ms. Mrs. Nadine Malloy. Former principal, Ms. Joan Porter. Principal of the husband's store, primary and junior high. Former board member, Mr. Holder Brown. Counselor, Pauline Reynolds. Mr. Holmes, member of the school board. President of the Parent Teachers Association, Ms. Heather Grant, other distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I greet you well this afternoon. Mine is a task to welcome you on behalf of the chairman, Mr. Cecil Morgan, and vice chairman, Ms. Singh, who are not here with us this evening or this afternoon. So I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the 2023 graduating class of Denby High School. It is indeed a pleasure 
for me to do so. Because then the high school is not a re an ordinary school anymore. Then the high school has become not only in the parish of Clarendon, you have become a south of the school, okay. but across the country. If you're traveling from St. Catherine coming to Maypen, you will see along the way a number of students decked out in their uniform traveling to Denby High. We have a fantastic crop of teachers here, academic staff, auxiliary staff, and support staff that continue to give this school the kind of support that is necessary and so enabling you, enabling you to be growing and soaring to higher heights. And so on behalf of the Board of Management, I want to take this opportunity to welcome everyone this afternoon. I am sure you are up for a very exciting afternoon. And so, since I'm appearing on your program twice, in order to save time, I am going to use this opportunity also to greet you well on behalf of Member of Parliament, Mike Henry, who is not here with us this afternoon. And of course, he had asked me to this morning, who will be the guest speaker? And I told him, Miss Nadine Malone, and he said, extend to her for me, my artist, welcome. So I want to welcome you, Madam Keynote Speaker, on behalf of the Member of Parliament. And he wants to commit as committee's support, as he always does, to Denby High School. He was here with you in bad times, and indeed, he's still here with you in great times because the school is doing well. I want to say to you, Mr. Principal, I have completed my task. I have completed my task, sir. And I just want to say to the parent before taking my seat that every time you drive along Jackson Street and when you look down the alley to the school, you see some very unsightly stalls. Not befitting the institution that we are here celebrating this evening, this afternoon. And so, those of you who will be coming along here, come Monday morning or over the weekend, you will see some beautiful, four beautiful stalls, well built, in the color of the school. And I have already said to Miss Denton, and I have already said to the acting principal, I don't want to see one more stall out there. Those four stalls will be for the four vendors who have been plying their trades there for many years. And so we want to take them out of the shocks that they are in and put them into something that look more palatable, and something that look more in keeping with your institution. And if you pass Denver Primary, you would have seen those. So you are getting yours also. I want to say to the graduating class in closing, it's not where you start in life, it's how you finish. There are many of you who have been from poor, humble beginning. And I'm going to ask of you, do not allow that to detain you. Education is the only tool can, uh, that will enable you to escape poverty. And in so doing, I am asking you to continue to soar so that your parents can be proud of you and we can ultimately build a country that we can, all of us, can be proud of. I want to take the plane 
to migrate anymore, but you'd want to stay here and be a part of the building of this nation. On behalf again of the Board of Management and the Member of Parliament, I want to say to you, have a good afternoon. God bless you. Be good. Put your hands together one more time for Mr. Joel Williams, representing the Denver High School Board of Governors. Uh, I want to inform the graduates. As we know, it is, it is really hot. So you have bottles of water right at your chairs. All right, please ensure. Was the finish already? <laughs> OK. All right, do ensure that you are hydrated, all right? We want you to get through the afternoon. OK. So at this time, everyone, we will be having some greetings that will be coming to us. And the first person I'll call is the member of the parliament representative to come to the microphone and... Okay, so yes, everyone. So the next person coming to give us greeting will be Mrs. Heather Lee Grant, and she is the Denby High School PTA representative. Yes, everyone, clap her as she comes. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, everyone, and all, all protocols observed. I am Heather Lee Grant, president of the Parent Teachers Association. I take pleasure today in celebrating with the graduates of the graduating class of 2023. I wish to say that this has been a long journey for you all with many obstacles but you have all overcome them no matter what you are sitting here together proud students moving forward to chart your own course to step out into the world i can say to you all that this is not the end of the road it's the end of your high school education but as you move forward there is greater things to come you have been at one of the best institutions. You have had the best teachers who have guided you on this journey. So I advise that you take what you were taught, take it into the world, whether into the working place or to higher education, and to chart your own course. As the ego will soar, you soar high and do what is best. All the best for you all and take care. You. Come on, another round of applause, everyone. Mrs. Heatherly Grant, all right, our PTA uh, rep. And she did make mention that this is the best high school. Uh, I, know, I know I heard it, Ma, of course. And did she say that you have the best teachers here? Okay. <laughs> all right. We, we do know that we have the best teachers. At this time, we're going to be having greetings from our past student association representative. All right, so that is going to be uh, guidance counselor Price. Will you make her welcome at this time? The executive team of Denby High School's Past Students Association extends hearty congratulations to you, our graduating students of 2023. This momentous occasion is proof that you can do anything 
that you set your mind to. Boys and girls, getting here is a testament of your resilience and dedication. You are our leaders of tomorrow, and we will continue to cheer for you on your journey. Whether you decide to continue your educational journey immediately after high school or take some time off, Denby High School has provided you with knowledge and skills that you can use to be successful. Today, as you graduate with, with much excitement, you think about all the possibilities that await. Consider ideas and opportunities, and you reflect on the lasting memories that you made. Use all that you have learned at DHS to help inspire your future. Remember that you will always be a part of the Aqua Nation community. Please visit us often and stay connected. You are now ambassadors and most certainly proud Aqua Princes and Aqua Princesses. Your involvement will make a difference to future students and the Past Students Association as we continue to uphold Brand Denby. Aqua Nation, Aqua Pride. Graduation is also a day of celebration for those who have contributed to your success. Your family, your friends, staff, and the PSA of DHS are very proud of you. We cannot wait to see and hear of the amazing accomplishments that you will all achieve in the future. Soar to greater heights, Aqua Princes and Aqua Princesses. You have within you all that you need to succeed. Thank you. Put your hands together one more time for Miss Millicent Price. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would have had the Honorable William Shagori with us, Custos Rotolorum for Clarendon, but unfortunately, he is not here. However, his representative is here, and uh, we do ask for your forgiveness, sir, for the oversight. Uh, and at this time, we are going to be inviting Mr. Aldo Brown to come and greet us on behalf of the Costos of Clarendon. And I want to also inform you that Mr. Brown, he is a past chairman of the board right here at Denby High School. Will you make him welcome, please, everyone? Joel Williams in his dual role represented the board and member of parliament. Other political directorates in the house, Miss Reynolds in particular. <laughs> Madam keynote speaker, Nadine Malloy. Mr. Jeffrey Douglas. Mr. Jeffrey Douglas, other distinguished ladies and gentlemen in the audience, esteemed Denby High School graduating class of 2023. I want to hear some sound. Denby, Denby Chief. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you all. It is with great pleasure and honor that I stand before you today on behalf of the Custos of Clarendon. Honorable William Shagori, CDJP, <laughs> to extend congratulations on this momentous occasion. Graduation Day is a time of immense joy and celebration, a day when we come together.
to acknowledge the remarkable achievements of our young individuals who, are, who have successfully completed their high school journey. As we gather here today, we reflect on the words of John Gooden, who wisely said, it is not so important who starts the game, but who finishes it. This quote holds profound significance as we recognize the perseverance, the dedication, and resilience that each of you has demonstrated throughout your tenure at Denby High School. Today, we honor your hard work and commitment, which has enabled you to meet graduation requirements set out by the school. Your consistent attendance, exemplary conduct, and adherence to school's regulation have laid the foundation for your success. Your academic achievement, marked by commendable performance in subjects like mathematics, English, information technology, and your chosen area of specialization, showcase your dedication to excellence. Beyond the classroom, you have actively participated in extracurricular activities, clubs and societies, displaying leadership, teamwork, and a well-rounded approach to education. Your involvement has not only enriched your own lives, but also contributed to the vibrant, vibrant spirit of Denby High School. Today, we celebrate your accomplishment. We also recognize the significance of, your special award, of the special awards bestowed upon deserving graduates. The graduation certificate you are about to receive serves as a symbol of your successful completion of the high school program. However, I especially commend those of you who will be awarded today with trophies and plaques, and also exemplary students who have excelled in various academic disciplines. As you stand on the threshold of a new chapter in your lives, I urge you to carry the values and lessons you have learned at Denby High School into the world. As you step in the future, remember that graduation is not just a culmination, but a beginning. It's a beginning filled with boundless opportunities and the power to make a difference. Embrace the challenges that lies ahead, knowing that you possess knowledge, skill, and determination to overcome them all. I extend my deepest, deepest appreciation to the parents, the families, friends, and dedicated faculty and staff of Denby High School whose unwavering support has played a significant role in the success of you, the graduate. Their guidance, and their guidance, encouragement, and belief in your ability have been instrumental in shaping, shaping the individuals you have become. In conclusion, on behalf of the Costas of Clarendon and the entire community, I congratulate Denby High School graduating class of 2023. May you embark on this new journey with courage, resilience, and a commitment to making a positive impact in the world. As you leave the familiar grounds of Denby High School, remember to hold on to the pride and honor that comes with being a graduate of this esteemed institution. Congratulations, class of 2023. May your futures be filled with endless possibilities, remarkable achievements, and thank you for listening to me.
moderators, I just want to um, indicate to you that as much as I'd like to stay for the entirety of this program, I will not be able to do so. At some point, I have to leave. Okay, thank you. All the best to you all. I forgot to tell you that I'm a past student of this institution. Thank you, Mr. Brown. And uh, Mr. Brown mentioned that uh, he is a past student of this institution. And hey, how, how can we not mention that? The Aqua Nation, right? The Aqua Nation, the, the baddest, the best, right? Right? So, yes, man, let me hear us just give a cheer for our school, the Denby High School. Okay, yes, yes. And graduates, I cannot be up here. And not mention how lovely you are all oh, looking down there. I, I am loving the gowns, yes. So yes, how are you feeling, by the way? Let me hear from you. How are you feeling? Apart from the heat, <laughs> but I was expecting that. But apart from the heat, how are you? To be graduating finally after five years, right? Yes, how do we feel? Ah, I hear excited, wonderful. Okay, everyone, at this time we will be having an audio recording from our Minister of Education representative. It is also under our greeting. Over to you, Mrs. Webb. Board Chairman, Mr. Morgan, Master of Ceremonies. Board Chairman, Mr. Morgan, Acting Principal, Mr. Jeffrey Douglas. Vice Principal Ms. Denton, all members of staff of the Denby High School, guest speaker, graduating class of 2023, parents, other specially invited guests on the platform and in the audience. Today we gather here to celebrate a significant milestone in the lives of our students and that of the Denby High School. The culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and growth. Graduates, as you stand on the threshold of a new chapter, the theme equipped to conquer is a most fitting tour guide for this journey. Throughout your time in high school, you have been equipped with a multitude of tools and resources that have prepared you for the challenges that lie ahead. You have gained knowledge from textbooks, lectures, and countless hours of study. You have acquired skills through extracurricular activities, sports, and artistic endeavors. But most importantly, you have developed the resilience, determination, and perseverance necessary to conquer any obstacle in your path. Never forget that you came through one of the most challenging times in history, the COVID era. You are indeed resilient. Education has always been the key to unlocking potential. It arms you with knowledge, broadens your perspectives, and empowers you to think critically. It gives you the ability to question, to analyze, and to seek solutions. Denby High School has taught you to harness the power of education and use it as a force to conquer. But being equipped is just the beginning. To truly conquer, you must harness your passion and drive. You must strive for excellence in everything that you do, pushing the boundaries of your capabilities and never settle for less. Conquering requires you to step outside of your comfort zones, take risks, and embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. In the words of John Maxwell, you will win some and you will learn some. So as you embark on your individual journeys, 
Remember that conquering is not limited to personal achievements. It is about making a positive impact on the world around you. It is about using your knowledge, skills, and experiences to create change, uplift others, and contribute to the betterment of the, so of the society. Each one of you have the power to make a difference, no matter how small. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate Team Denbihai for a job well done. You remained a happy and responsive school throughout the pandemic. You did pivot like true champions as you served your stakeholders, both internally and externally. To our parents, congratulations to you for a job well done. You stood by your children like true warriors, even when the going got tough and the tough got going. Continue to be their inspiration and the wind beneath their wings. Graduates, as I close, as you move forward, continue to embrace the spirit of equip to conquer. Your, your families, your school, your communities, and Jamaica are all depending on you to be the game changers, the innovators, the difference makers, and the eagles that will soar above adversities and will blaze the trail of excellence. Once again, on behalf of the Ministry of Education and Youth and Team Region 7, the region of purpose positioned to serve, congratulations, class of 2023, the world is yours to conquer. God bless you all. Go ahead and put your hands together one more time, ladies and gentlemen. All our graduates, yes, for the representative of the Ministry of Education. At this time, we will be having a very special item. And I want you to put your hands together for Mr. Marco Newell coming to perform. A big round of applause for Mr. Newell, everyone. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Probably my voice has scared you away. Um. Check, check. This song I am about to do is dedicated to the graduates. It's a song I wrote. Check. 
This song is dedicated to the, the graduating class. I wrote this song when I was going through a rough time. And I'm telling you, this song has changed my life a whole lot. And I hope that when you leave here, this song will do something for you. Hallelujah. Every word spoken in my life will cement my destiny. There is no failure, no failure for me. Every word spoken. time but I want to say this I encourage everyone of you this evening to keep focused I didn't get the opportunity as you did I have to work my way through high school I was on my own from I was 12 I worked and sent my school, myself to school I have to drop out at grade 9 because I couldn't do any more but I didn't give up because I have one intention. My intention was to be somebody. My father told me I wouldn't be anything. And you know at one point I hold on to that. And I failed at everything I did. But I had one intention to be somebody in life. And this song said, every word spoken in my life. People will speak things in your life and it happened. But my word to you, you decide whether or not you be somebody or not. No matter what nobody say, it's, your, it's up to you to be somebody. It's up to you. Teacher Dawkins here know me. <laughs> I don't want to talk, start talking because if I start talking, it's not going to stop. I struggled in life, but I decide there's no failure over me. No failure. Every word spoken in your life will cement your destiny. There is no failure, no failure over you. I have scars. I remember at one time my mother threw a knife and stuck it in my back 
Because she said that my father beat her when she was pregnant with me. And when I was born, I looked just like him. So me get all of the eight. You wouldn't understand. But there's no failure over me. I am not a married man. I'm a father. My first son graduated older by I with 16 subjects. I did that. I worked and sent my children to that. Take care of my children. I don't do the same thing. Well, my father never mind me, so I don't mind mine. No. I took care of mine. And I'm encouraging all of you. When you well, probably know you're going to sixth form because I heard it's mandatory. Well, I don't know. I, don't, I heard that. Maybe it's real. But I am imploring you, every one of you leaving here to something different. Just add one determination that you will be something in life. Amen. Every word spoken in your life will cement your destiny. There is no failure, no failure over you. Radiating class, I want you to do something for me, please. Just stand up, stand up for me, please. Stand up for me. And I love children, trust me. I want you to turn to somebody, turn to somebody. I encourage your friends. Hallelujah. Let's turn to somebody and look them dead in the eye. Don't be afraid, man, look for man. Look them in the face and tell them. Every word, come on. Every word spoken in your lives will cement your destiny. There is no failure, no failure over you. Come on, do it one more time. Every word, every word spoken in your life will. some goosebumps take them over who felt it right yes I know, right yes the atmosphere changed wow what a story and grad ones i hope that we heard and will take away from it right all right ladies and gentlemen at this time we are going to be inviting our acting principal mr jeffrey douglas he is coming with the principal's report. Put your hands together for Mr. Douglas. Thank you, Mr. Dawkins. Masters of Ceremony, Miss Arisa Brown. And Mr. Jeffrey Dawkins, Territorial Education Officer, Mr. Errol Orton, Counselor and Chairman of the Central Clarendon Constituency for the Jamaica Labor Party and Member of the Board of Management, Mr. Joel Williams, Guest Speaker, Ms. Nadine Malloy, President of the Parents Teachers Association, Mrs. Edelie Grant. Representatives of the Past Students Association, past and present members of the Board of Management, principals and their representatives from other educational institutions, specially invited guests, vice principals, 
Mrs. Diane Gordon Denton and Miss Yolon Webb, senior teachers, committed and industrious members of the academic, administrative, clerical, and ancillary staffs, our wonderful and supportive parents, friends of Denby High School, those joining us online, including Chairman Mr. Cecil Morgan, Principal Janice Jalal, and PSA President Mrs. Nadine Nemard Henry, among others, students, and most important, the phenomenal and highly esteemed graduates of the class of 2023. I greet you well on this pleasant afternoon. I stand to give a brief but comprehensive report of the 2022 to 23 academic year. The culminating year for this group of wonderful, intelligent, polite, and pleasant aqua princes and princesses. Soon to be graduate of this noble institution. It is no secret that everything we do at Denby High, we put God first. So one can well appreciate why our annual back to school church service started our school year. It was indeed a very good service, coordinated and executed by the PTA executive led by Mrs. Sharon Irons Francis and our guidance team. We were then off to a smooth start with full staff complement, except for a numerous specialist. In fact, we can say we were blessed because several schools were severely affected by a shortage of teachers. Yes, I just the blessing. I just the blessing. textbook and technological gadgets. Our dedicated 86 teachers were armed and ready to facilitate the teaching learning process while our sweet little children, numbering in excess of 1,600, quickly got in gear for the business of learning. The year was a good one but not without its fair share of challenges, disappointment, and grief. But we were buoyed by the support, love, and appreciation of our many stakeholders, as well as the performances of our wonderful students. I will share with you some of the highlights. But before I do, allow me to pause and recognize those who helped to make the year the success it was. Firstly, there was a board of management, able led by Mr. Cecil Morgan, as representatives of the Ministry of Education, the board provided the checks and guidance, ensuring the school operated efficiently and effectively. Next, there was our PTA, under the leadership of Mrs. Francis, our supportive parents, our biggest cheerleaders, who were always behind, cheering us on, defending our great name, always answering positively when called upon. 
Then there was our past student association, led by President Nadine Nemard Henry, another member of our cheerleading team, supporting and giving almost from nothing in such selfless ways. How can we forget our sponsors who helped to help the school to overcome some of its financial challenges by providing assistance in several areas of the school? And let me pause here to say, if you did not hear your name or company, please forgive me. But I want to highlight some of the sponsors. Stoplight will say, we sink our company. Stop Sports, Mrs. Lorraine Cousins, National Commercial Bank, Scotia Bank, Chris and Charles, Chorus Chemical, Jamaica Biscuit Company, Food for the Poor, Mr. Marcel Stewart, Alaska Foods, People's Favorite Bakery, Sports Development Foundation, Councillor Joel Williams, our vendors at the gate, Miss Di, Mr. Reed, and the others, Miss Edda Powell, Dr. Scarlett Campbell, Atel Versalis, God, Godfrey's Funeral Home, Counselor Carla Watt, Jamalco, BOS Blocks and Tile Limited, Mr. Glenroy Castle, James and Friends, and those who sponsored in private. Put your hands together for our sponsors. There was also our teachers who, at times, went above and beyond ensuring assignments, classwork, and SBAs were completed. Graduates, let me hear it for the teachers. Not to be left out is our non-teaching staff under the guidance of Bursa, Ms. Suzette Gale, who, if it were a football game, would make up the midfield, making those crucial passes to ensure that the forwards, the teachers, continued to score goals. Then we have our student leaders at the class level, grade level, or school level, who were called upon to lead and did so with distinction. Put your hands together for the leaders and the non-teaching staff. I cannot continue without mentioning our representatives in the various competitions, sports, visual and performing arts, speech and drama, and indeed, their coaches. We love and appreciate you all. Thanks for your contribution to the Denby High family. Family. Yeah, I know what it is. Family. Sure. Family. Now, as I share these highlights, I want you to work with me here. When I say aqua, you say? If I say unified, you say? Aqua. Aqua. Unified. Unified. The school continues to do well in academic sports, visual and performing arts, as well as in social and spiritual developments. An analysis of the 2022 CAPE examinations revealed that of the 28 units that students sat, 26 showed a pass rate of 8% or above. Come on, make some noise. 15 of those 26 units registered 100% pass rate. For CSEC, 
16 out of 27 subjects that students sat registered the pass rate of 70% or above. City and Guilds, Stage 2 Mathematics, 107 students were entered, 86.9% pass. City and Guilds, Stage 3 Mathematics, 107 students entered, 85% pass. NC Tibet examinations, over 70% of the students taking these exams were certified competent. Internally, most of our students continue to perform well, managing an average above the school's pass mark. Our performances earned us several placements on CXC merit, merit lists. Of note is Ken Nicholas Morrison, who was number one, and Okiri Pennant, number five, in building, mechanical, and engineering join BMED in Jamaica. We pause once more to congratulate the students and their teacher, Mr. Denver Williams. Aqua! Yes, we move on. In sports, there are several accomplishments. In netball, both seniors and juniors, as well as our under-15 team, made it to the quarterfinals of their respective ISA competitions. The juniors are champions of the Florida Netball Classics, and the seniors finish second. Abigail Williams, Kenisa Roberts, Mariah Wellington, Shana K. Grant, Janelle Dunkley, and Jadine Chambers, members of the graduating class, were members of that team. In football, our Dacosta Cup team finished third in the group stage of the competition, narrowly missing out and advancing to the second round. Graduates, Alexander Dixon, Marlon Murray, Rajay Jagannath, Suwain Miller, and Adrian Miller were members of the Dacosta Cup team. At this year's Boys and Girls Athletic Championships. For the first time in the school's history, we were able to score points on the boys' side. And it was also the first time that we made it to nine semifinals. Michaela Williams was a member of the team. Aqua! Though volleyball is a relatively new sport to them behind, we were able to finish second in the St. Jago Invitational, third at the Michael Invitational, and third in, the, in our zone in the ISA competition. Graduate Sienna Howe, Shamarian Hamilton, Mark Wayne Thomas, and Delano Lewis were members of the team. The school entered ISA table tennis competition for the first time. And under the guidance of coach Mr. Dwayne Denton, managed to finish third in the competition. Delano Lewis was a member of the team. We did not fare so well in cricket and basketball, but we still applaud the team for their efforts, especially graduates Devon Williams, Shamarian Hamilton, Walter C. Walker, O'Neill Bryan, Demario Powell, Rahul Sargent, Trey Donald, Timoy Meggy, Nicole White, Danielle Richards, Tyler Payton, Nehemiah Brown, and Rajay Juggernaut. Our chess team was able to make it to the second round of their competition, though they started training rather late. Our female hockey team played the entire season of the ISA competition undefeated. 
a rare feat for any team in any round robin competition. Our male team, of which Delano Lewis was a member, finished third. When the man go do ya now, we still a win. Oh, are we still a win? We still a win. We still a win. Are we still a win? In visual and performing arts, we enter the Spanish festival with gold. The school placed second in the Jamaica customer service, though that should have been first, and in the JN Boasty money competition. We should have been first again. Graduates, Abigail Evans, Ferona McLean, Neville U. Campbell, Devon Williams, Shaliva Williamson must be applauded for their participation in both events. We also participated in the JCDC competition. And if you think we did done, we just have come. 17 pieces were entered in the music category. All 17 pieces advanced to the parish finals. Three of the pieces made it to the national finals where Tristan Dawkins of grade 10. Yeah, I know he's not a member of the graduating class, but I just had to mention it. One goal for his piece. Of the pieces entered in the speech category, we won five gold medals, five silver medals, 10 bronze, and four merits. We move on to the national level in the speech competition where we won five gold medals. And our teacher, Miss Marla Tarix, was awarded top culture agent. We must big up graduates, Abigail Booth, Casey and McPherson, Shaliva Williamson, Gabriel Heavens, Talia Tuari, Britannia Baker, Devonnie Williams, Ferona McLean, and Neville U. Campbell, who won medals. Also, there was Rain White, who earned merit for his speech. I'm a big deal. I'm a friend, I'm a big deal. Yeah, we're kind of important for real. Oh, yeah, I'm a big deal. And my friends are some big deals. Very, very, very important. Yes, indeed. Bambi High School, we a big deal. Aqua, unified, unified. At Denby High, we believe in the holistic development of our students as embodied in our mission statement. I am sure you will join me in celebrating the achievement of our grade eight student, Denise Grant, who completed a diploma in theology at the Macedonia Theological Seminary and will be graduating on July 4 as valedictorian. Our quiz team, though consisting of very young members, made it to the second round of the competition. We applaud their efforts and salute the coaches, Mr. Aldo Campbell and school unified yes the school had a number of development and enrichment activities for our students staff and parents as well as initiative undertaken at the grade and departmental level we launched our g4d given for development in january 2023 and received several generous donations from our sponsors. The initiative is still ongoing. Over half of our exiting students were able to gain work experience from industries and businesses. Our graduates were involved in several extra classes 
workshops, marathons, field trips, educational tours organized by several departments. Our annual mathematics camp was held in May 2023. The grade seven team initiated an Everton Anarchy Award for cleanliness and Lucille Wilkes Award for discipline. Grade eight, at a Father's Recognition Month, enlightened fathers who were active in the lives of students of grade eight in honor of two great stalwarts. Grade nine di distributed welcome packages in September 2022 and tokens for Charles Month. Grade 10 at the breakfast program, which we intend to replicate for the entire school. Grade 11 introduced staff appreciation day, giving our students the opportunity to express appreciation to their students and other staff. Grade 12 and 13, the students adopted the Seymour Edwards Infant School and had several empowerment sessions, including the annual Joan Wint Lecture. Other activities included Heritage Week and Jamaica Day Celebration, organized by the Department of Social Sciences, Christmas Pageant, coordinated by VP Webb, Read Across Jamaica Day, coordinated by the Department of Humanities, National Home Economics and Salon Day, coordinated by the Department of Human Ecology. And there was the internal public speaking competition sponsored by businessmen and professionals from APEN and coordinated by Miss Claudine Mighty. Sports Day was held on February 21, which saw for the first time in over five years as an house being crowned champions. And of course, the Denby High branded Social Graces events were held. There were also professional development sessions for the staff, Christmas Street, lunchtime karaoke, staff awards function, and outing. Initiatives for parents organized by the guidance department include parenting seminar and a father's function. Members of all levels were gifted with tokens at different times. This was coordinated by VP Denton. On May 18, we celebrated Children's Day. And through the kind contribution of our sponsors, we were able to treat the children with chips and ice cream. The treat was coordinated by VP Webb. Of course, like any true school, there were some low moments. But these moments only taught us to persevere. Throughout the school year, there were deaths of members of the school family. In the first term, we lost our past student, the Belgian brothers, Tavon and Tavares, tragically. In the second term, we lost our student, of grade nine, Akela Edwards, and Mr. Jeffrey Aces, former member of the board of management. May their souls rest in peace and light perpetual shine upon them. While discipline is good, there are a few students who became habitual latecomers. And this point is maybe the most serious. We lacked the financial resources to do all that we needed to do, and this was a real struggle. But again, we express gratitude to our sponsors who were able to help us out on many occasions. In February 2023, the school's IT infrastructure was greatly affected and compromised when there was a fire in one of the IT labs. In other news, our hard-working principal, Mrs. Janice Julal, continues on her well-deserved vacation leave. School closes for summer break on July 7, 2023. Meetings for the parents of Pepper Wardies will be on July 10. 
commencing at 10 a.m. Summer School for All PEP awardees and returning students, July 11 to 28. And we ask parents that you kindly check our media pages, the WhatsApp groups, or call the school for further information. And now, my phenomenal graduates, I invite you to stand. You withstood the adversities of the COVID-19 pandemic and overcame several challenges. When you started at this great school, we knew it was one in a million. It was a long shot. But you got here together. Who knows what will happen now? Anything can happen. But when you put your heart in it, it's the best that you can do. You are equipped to conquer. I charge you, go forward. Do your best. Give up your best. Get involved in the PSA. Pay it forward by giving back. I encourage you, my children, from Joshua 1 and verse 9, be strong and of a good courage. Be, do not be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you. Whithersoever you go, you have knowledge. You are equipped with the skills. Go forward and conquer. Aqua! Aqua! Motto? Motto, affirmation, yes, great graduates of the class of 2023, I charge you, seek to live a life of quality. God bless you. God bless Denby High School. Jeffrey Douglas, and I tell you, a whole lot is going on right here at Denby High School. Me, uh, I can I, I guarantee that there's a whole lot more Mr. Douglas could have said in the report, but you know, he had to keep it short. <laughs> All right, thank you so very much, sir. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I want you to know that. Here at Denby High School, we have a whole lot of talented students. A true, a true, something you Thomas Brown? True, true, yeah. Listen, man, talent overload. They're not just brilliant, but they're talented as well. So at this time, we are going to be having an item coming to us by the Denby High School Aquasonics Band.
check, bike check. Bike check. Bike check. Testing one, two. Mic check. Testing one, two. Testing. 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 Mic check. <laughs>
and credit goes to the music department, Mrs. Newell, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. A great job they did. Did you enjoy that a while ago? I mean, seriously, did you enjoy that a while ago? I thought I heard somebody say, we want more. No? Okay. Okay, they heard it. <laughs> but wait a second, morning, pull up. All right, you know, you, you know what you have to do, you know, just um, <laughs> bring it and they'll do it. Just like I, I tell you, uh, right here at Denby High School, talent overload. Did I say it earlier? Overload. Overload. Yes. overload. Believe me. And just in case you thought that you've seen it all, ladies and gentlemen, we have yet another item coming to us. And I want you to put your hands together for the Denby High School Dance Group. Where are the dancers? Calling the lovely dancers. They're coming. Come on, you have to make them welcome. Put your hands together for the dancers.
came. They came. In wooden ships, they came. On the west coast of Africa, they came. God, Senegal, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, they came. They came in wooden ships. But after 400 years, we survived the blood, sweat, tears. They came in wooden ships across the watery grave. We survived. Freeman, Freeman, I sang songs of Freeman. My mother, chained to me, chained to them, I cried, I cried. Cried because they took my brother. Oh, how I cried. My mother, they whipped, whipped her because she cried about them whipping my father. She the slave, he the slave. Then I would arise at sun nearly rise, working away my life. No name, no name, I knew no name. I the forgotten soul. Whip to live, whip because I lived. Whip to death. They came. On wooden ships they came. Across the watery grave. On the west coast of Africa survived 400 years we survived we survived my mother they whipped whipped her because she cried about them whipping my father she the slave he the slave then I would arise at sun near the rise working away my life no name no name I knew no name I the forgotten soul whipped to live because I lived with to death. Today I sing songs, redemption songs. Free mother, free father, I sing songs to be free. Free, I the slave, I the slave.
you know but I think we can do much better than that right oh my goodness who could feel the energy a while ago those girls is very evident how much energy how much practice they would have put into that choreography right wow well done ladies and I can't leave out the the the, the lone man right Rayvon Black yes well done as well excellent excellent another big round of applause to them everybody but you know, I am I'm standing here now, and I think I think I could do it, you know. I think I could do it. Miss yes, Brown. Miss yes, Brown, sir. all right, you go over there. Right, let me so. clear the stage. Let me clear no, the stage. No, don't clear the stage. Just stand right there. I'm going to run and you'll catch me. All right, so. All right. So. No, hold on. So. Is me must catch her? No, you know, show me shot. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Another big round of applause for the dancers, everybody. Awesome job. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it indeed. Ah, whew. <laughs> A tired is not me dancing. All right. Uh, at this time, we are ready to hear our guest speaker. Ah, our yes, guest it speaker. is time for our guest, guest speaker. speaker. But uh, we need someone to do the introduction for us. Mm -hmm. So at this time, we're going to be inviting Demaro Powell, our head girl. A big round of applause. Um, um, forgive me, please. <laughs> so, Mr. Demaro Powell, or head boy? No? Mm. Okay. All right, Mr. Demaro Powell. I got that part right. A prefect. I got that part right. We'll be introducing our guest speaker. A round of applause for Mr. Powell, please. Masters of Ceremony, Representative for Custos Rotolium and Past Chairman, Mr. Ola Brown, Representative of the Minister of the Member of Parliament and Council, Mr. Joel Williams, Members of the Clergy, Education Officer, Mr. Errol Orton, Guest Speaker, Ms. Nadine Malloy, Members of the Board of Management, Past Principal, Ms. Jean Porter, Acting Principal, Mr. Jeffrey Douglas. Vice Principal, Ms. Diane Garden Denton. Acting Vice Principal, Ms. Yolan Webb. Specially invited guests, teachers, student leaders, parents, aqua family, fellow graduates, good afternoon. It is with great honor and gratitude that I stand today to introduce the guest speaker for our graduation, Miss Nadine Molloy. Nadine Molloy is a past president of the Jamaica Teacher Association and currently a trustee. She is a motivational and professional speaker locally, primarily in education circles. 
She is a member of the Executive Principals League and is an executive, exec, executive board member of Education International. The former principal of the year has been a principal since September 2000. A qualified school inspector, she is the principal of the Arden High School since September 2012. Nadine has a simple personal philosophy. Leave it a little better than you found it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Nadine Molloy. Thank you very much, Damara, for that introduction. Um, I caution the people at Denby that it, is not, it was not supposed to be too long, and then it wasn't too long. I greet the Denby, the Aqua Nation family well. Good afternoon. I want to recognize your board chairman, your acting principal, and you'll forgive me if I don't use all the names, uh, your vice principals, members of the senior staff, other members of the board. I know there are members of the other education fraternity who are here, and of course, most importantly, our school leavers. And how could I leave you out, parents and family members? I greet you so well. May I hear a country greeting? May I hear a country greeting? How do you greet people in this part of the world? All right, so let me try what you were trying. Aqua? And what was the other one again? Unified? Yes, I love to hear that. It's awesome. You know, I have a lot of friends from this part of the world in the education fraternity. Um, your vice principal is a friend of mine. One of your vice principal, rather. She's a friend of mine through the Jamaica Teachers Association. Your principal, and I greet her very well. I understand she's online. She's a friend of mine. And the former principal, and the former principal, and the former principal. I've been around so long, Mr. Williams, that I, I seem to be knowing everybody. But it is indeed my pleasure to be here with you, speaking to students this afternoon. I have spoken, and parents, I've spoken to teachers here, and I've had members of the Denby family at Arden. So, you know, we are in one family, and we like that. I want to thank you very much for your invitation. When you ask me to speak to students, no matter how tight my schedule is, I find it very difficult to say no. And this week at Arden, we actually have homecoming activities. Arden is now 96 years old, and we have some people who are visiting the school this year that are even older than I am. So, you know, we, we are doing a lot of exciting things there. And so, I am here with you this afternoon. I want to congratulate first the teachers, my colleague teachers. I congratulate you. And I'm biased, and uh, moderators, forgive me, I'm biased. I have to big up the teachers. We do so much in Jamaica. School leavers, put your hands together for your teachers. Those of you who have opted to stay with us, we know that it is not an easy road that you are taking. I know every single thing that you go through in our classrooms on a daily basis. I know what it takes to make the difference that you are making. And so I honor you and I respect you this afternoon for the work that you are doing for our nation's children. I commend our parents as well. Parenting is not an easy thing. I have an adopted daughter, and now I have what I call a glam daughter. I'm too, I'm too young to be a grandmother. So I have a glam daughter, and she's five years old going on 50. And when she spends time with me, I am just, I think I'm spoiling her because I'm just simply in awe of the things that she says and what she does. We were in church on Sunday, and she was really good for the two hours. I left her sitting with some other persons, and she stayed there sitting the entire time. And when I cut back, I said to her, but you did well, man. She said, yes, I didn't have anything else to do, so I just kept myself quiet. And this is five years old. So you know what it means to raise these young people I have in front of me this afternoon. They have some awesome ideas, and sometimes not so awesome ideas, 
about what they are and what they can do. And it is a difficult task to guide them to where we are today. And at a school like Denby High that is doing so well, that so many other persons are envious and are also admiring what you do. It is no easy task to get our young people to where you have got these young people today. So students, I ask you to applaud your parents. Now you, my school leavers, graduates, today is a symbol of what you have been going through all the years. Today is really just the icing on the cake. What is important is what each of you have done from the day you started going to kindergarten school to now. And I commend you and I congratulate you for doing all the things that you needed to do. I'm getting the requests and the questions, why am I not in the valedict on the valedictory service list? So I know how it goes. It means that you have done something very good. But I have news for you, even as we congratulate you, and even as we celebrate you, because that report that your principal gave, it's really all about you and what you have done. I still want to say to you, it ain't over yet. In many ways, ladies and gentlemen, it's just beginning. There is a world out there awaiting you, that it's a world that even me, who will love to read and love to think about all the things that we're going to be doing in the future, cannot imagine what it's going to be like. There's a book I read many years ago that you probably haven't heard of it, The Time Traveler. The Time Traveler goes into time and space into the future. And he comes back and he shares with the people in his community all of the interesting things that he found there, some of the things that we have gone past those things in life now. And then eventually at the end of the novel, the Time Traveler goes back into the future. And it's interesting. The Time Traveler does not come back. And the time traveler doesn't return because he could not, H.G. Wells, the author, could not imagine what that future is going to be like. I remember when I was a teenager, and young people don't like to hear when they say, I remember, you know. But when I was a teenager, I remember watching this cartoon, The Jetsons. And we thought the Jetsons were crazy people, flying cars, WhatsApp call, what, what we call WhatsApp call now, uh, the microwave, and all of the different things that we are now taking for granted. Those were things that we saw. When the microwave came in, there were people in my grandmother's and so on generation who were serving blind that they will eat nothing from a microwave because food cannot cook that quickly. And there are so many things. Even fast forward to just the difference between pre-COVID and post-COVID, in two years, the entire world has become a different place. I serve on a board where we go on a retreat once a year. It has to do with the media. And we were introduced to an earlier version of chat GPT. And this, because I used to wonder, how is it that something could happen? And in no time at all, all the international media houses were carrying these perfect articles with everything right about the person. When we were on that retreat, we were shared two articles, one written by artificial intelligence, and I'm talking about maybe nine years ago, one written by artificial intelligence and one written by a reporter. Those of us who are in the room, we could not tell the difference. Today, artificial intelligence has got to the place now where if you are not careful, you're going to get yourself into trouble because you can say people are doing what they're not doing. We are now concerned about what it is that we're going to be teaching you as students. Is it that we're going to be teaching you to write or we're going to be teaching you to write programs that will write? Everything has been turned upside down. We're talking about blended modality. 
We're talking about you being able to go to school in the other part of the world. The world has changed, and that world is waiting on you. It's a world where what is right and what is wrong now becomes a serious question. It's a world where alternative facts, alternative truths have taken over what is true. And that's a world that you are going to live in. It's a world where we don't think so much about community. And I was really very pleased to hear when you were chanting your Aqua Nation chants. Because we don't talk about community anymore. We talk about individuals. And I know that no man is an island and we can't live alone. That is the world that you're going to be occupying. As I looked at your theme, Equipped to Conquer, I wondered how I could speak to all of this and still be true to the theme. Um, Mr. Douglas, I really don't like themes a lot, but I decided I'm going to stay with your theme today. Conquering means that you're overcoming something. And one of the biggest challenges we have in life, we don't name it, but it is our fear of things. Sometimes it's even of our fear of ourselves. And I want to say to you, graduates, graduates this afternoon, each and every one of you, you are equipped. You are more than you know. You were never, ever designed, conceptualized, brought into this world to be a victim. You were always, always in the deepest recesses of our minds supposed to be victors. You can overcome any fear that you have, any reservation that you have about whether you can or you can't, you can overcome it. And you must, because the world is waiting on you. You must be equipped to conquer because the world that I will live in, if I live for 20 more years, will be the world that you are going to shape. I will start by saying to you, one of the most important things that I have grasped in all my years as a teacher and as a head teacher is the importance of building relationships. The person sitting beside you today is likely going to be the person who is going to decide on your future. Whether it's the person who is going to give you a job, whether it's the person who is going to be your doctor, whether it's the person who is going to be your lawyer. And the relationship that you build with each other is going to be critical going forward. When I was going to high school, I was a boarder. And there was a teacher who was very, very kind to me. There were times when I would finish my money or lose my money or all kinds of things, and I did not have much to eat. I used to carry her bag home for her in the evenings so that I could get some of her dinner. Do you know that when I became principal at Buff Bay High 23 years ago, who was on the staff? That very same teacher. The relationship that we built then sustained us into understanding each other and finding a common goal. She could have sabotaged me if I were a bad student. If I were having a bad day or I become a bad person, I could have not been nice to her as her supervisor. And to take it one step further, when I became president of the JTA, the last person who saw my speech before it went into quarantine to make sure that there were no grammatical errors or anything that would embarrass the association was that teacher. She looked out for me and she continued to take care of me even 30 odd years later. The relationships are critical. As you go on to sixth form or college or university or wherever you go, remember that. Think on how you related to each other and how you are going to continue to do that. That is one way of preparing yourselves. Preparation is always critical. Preparation, preparation, preparation. 
Another important thing I want you never to forget is who are the persons that you're taking with you on this journey? Who are the persons that you're taking on this journey? Yes, you're running your own race. You are. Because nobody can help you to run your running. But who are the persons who are going to help you prepare for this race? Who are going to be the persons who are on the sidelines cheering you along? Some years ago, I was privileged to go up to the University of the West Indies Bowl and watch Usain Bolt train. I said to myself that I am pretty sure that I could not have been an athlete when I saw what he was going through today, at that day. But there were several people around him. His chief coach, the person who was massaging him, the person who was saying, keep going, keep going. Who are the persons you're going to take you on that journey? And who are the persons that are going to be influencing you? Speaking of fear, identify what you fear. Find out what is standing in your way. It is really problem solving. That is life. Know what you are afraid of. I'm going to tell you a secret. It's not so much of a secret, but I'll tell you just the same. Even when I became JTA president, I could not stand up like this with a microphone in my hand because I have shaky hands and my hand would start shaking. And I would start feeling embarrassed. And it would start affecting the quality of my speech. So I used to clutch the microphone to my chest like this. And Lord help me if there was nowhere that's for me to um, rest the paper. So I knew what my fear was. And I worked on that fear. And I worked on that fear. Look at me now. Okay. Know what your fear is. And confront it. Dan. That day when I, was being, was I, when I was going to do the inauguration ceremony, we have to light a candle. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this as well. I fasted for two days begging God not to make my hands shake when I was lighting the candle. And he was good to me. My hands did not shake. So you know your fear and you encounter your fear. You challenge it and you overcome it. Whether it is that you're going to go to God in prayer, like I went to God in prayer, or you are just going to find whichever way that works for you, you encounter that fear. When I read this one some time ago, I was like, seriously? It says, sit with your fear. No, if you are fearful of something, why are you going to sit with it? But you see, you must always see what comes next. Don't always stop when something doesn't seem like it's what you want. It means that you're going to sit down Reflect, understand what is your fear, and find a way to deal with it. That's how you are going to conquer it. You don't know how to do the wretched mats? I worked with a teacher who used to call mats the wretched mats. You don't know how to do the wretched mats? Sit down, figure out a way. Is it that you're going to get a tutor? Is it that you're going to get a classmate to help you? Is it that you're just going to practice some more? Sit with your fear, reflect on it, know it, understand it, turn it around, and then before you know it, you know how you're going to work against it. Decide what goals in your life is a must. I am the first person out of my immediate family to go to university. There are other persons along the way. But I decided I was going to university. And I knew that the only way to get to university was to pass my A-levels back then. The first year when I was at community college, I didn't do that well. But did that stop me? No. I got into university. Know what goals are a must for you. When I became president of the JTA, I decided what goals were important for me. And I went through those, and I went through and made sure that I stuck to the game plan. When I became a classroom teacher, I was not a trained teacher at first. 
And at the time, there was, the, there was a kind of a compensation review at the time, 1993. And the media houses were saying that it's the teachers who did not have teacher training are the ones who are destroying the students. Lord have mercy, poor teacher. No matter what you do, the final reason to say you are the, you are the problem. And so I decided to go and do my advanced placement so I could become a trained teacher, a trained graduate. I had to do the classes in between teaching because there were no evening classes. I decided it was a must for me. There were times when I only got an hour or two sleep at night because I had to mark the students' papers, return it to them on time, and I had to do the assignment and pass it in on time. I go back to relationships as I speak, up, speak about the goal that I set for myself. There were students who I taught at bishops in the class over at Church Teachers College. You know that those students helped me a lot with my assignments. Again, suppose I was an evil teacher. You think they would be helping me? No. Set your goals and know what, they are, what you're about. Here's another one. Stop making excuses. Let me see the hands of those who make excuses all the time. Come on, graduates. Stop making... Um, Mr. Douglas, I like I have to bring up my detention book. Some students did not hold up their hands. Stop making excuses. It's something that we do all the time. It's too hot. It's too cold. I'm too tall. I'm too short. Did I hear somebody say that they were short earlier on? I'm too... Everything. She too ugly, she too pretty, she dress up, dress up too much, me here too naughty, not. You know why? Because we don't love ourselves and we don't have confidence in ourselves. Stop making excuses. You're wonderfully made in the eyes of God and everyone else. And you don't need the excuses. You just need to get up and do what you need to do. Surround yourself with people and things that are good for you. You need success in your life. I spoke about the journey. Every time I speak to my students at Arden, and I did it at Buff Bay too, every single time, I say to them, and I ask them when we're in the hall, to repeat, surround yourselves with people and things that are good for you. Can we have you do that today? After the count of two, one, two. Let me hear the ladies saying that. Gentlemen, let me hear the bass. Let's try that one more time. I know that I'm still a teacher. Can I hear the ladies? Surround yourselves with people and things that are good for you. Gentlemen, let me hear the bass. Girls, I think you sound better than the gentlemen. Let's do that one more time. Ladies. Gentlemen. Together. I think you always sound better. Clap yourselves, clap yourselves. You must always, always be sure of who is around you. Anybody who is going to pull me down, anybody who is going to make me take decisions that are not good decisions, and I know about it, I'm removing them from my life. You must have a growth mindset. Always think of how you are going to make something better. My own personal philosophy, very simple, is leave it a little better than you found it. And I give God thanks. I don't think I've left anywhere and not left it a little better than I found it. The last story I'm going to share with you is about a young man that I met at Buff Bay. Like any of us here, he had a mother or he had family who didn't care a lot about him. He used to have to study under the street light. Now, if you know anything about Portland, you know it rains a lot. So you know, a lot of times, he couldn't study. But he persevered. He would study at school, he would go home, and he would study under the streetlight. It's a young man who came to us via the grade 9 test. 
which means that he had some challenges academically. Do you know he turned out to be one of our top performers? I share that story with you to say, let every pain, disappointment, challenge that you go through, make it count. Let every pain, every challenge, every disappointment that you go through, make it count. You can't come to school and you didn't have lunch money and you spent the entire day hungry and then you go home without learning something. It can't be that you didn't have the money to dress up and come to the fete like someone else had and you make, and you make that pain go in vain. Every challenge that you encounter in life, make it count. You must have something good to show for every challenge that you go through. Do not stop because it's difficult. Do not stop because it's difficult. Write a storyboard. Get a picture of how you want to look. Put up the Benz that you want to drive or the BMW or the Bentley or the X whatever. Get your pictures. Post pictures of all the countries you want to travel to. Post, post pictures of people in the careers that you want. Visualize what you're going to be in this life. I wanted a red BMW. Boy, in the end, I couldn't afford it. I had to get a white Benz. I got it when I was old, but I got it. Okay? Visualize what you want in this life. You are not too young. Put up pictures of them. Tell people, this is where you're going. This is my destiny. And this is my journey. And own it. You see, when you visualize your goals, you set your focus. And where your focus goes, it's where your energy goes. And that's where your life grows. Where you set your focus is where your energy flows. And that's where your life grows. Very important. Never be paralyzed by fear. Don't think negatively. We're living in a negative world. But you must always tell yourself a success story. You gotta make, you gotta fake it until you make it. It cannot always be about loss. You make your story, you go after your story, and you live it. Finally, you will encounter failures in life. Yes. Won't tell you about any of mine today. My time is up. You will encounter failures in life. But failures are here to teach you lessons. Failure is never final. As you go forward to wherever you go, graduates, hold on to all of that which is good. As you run that race, your personal, individual race, think about who is coming on that journey with you. And always surround yourselves with people and things that are good for you. Thank you for listening. Come on, another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for our keynote speaker, Miss Nadine Malloy. And I especially love the line where she said, leave it better than you found it. I love that one. I love that one. How was it for you, Ms. Brown? Well, it was wonderful. And I was observing our graduates while Miss Malloy was speaking. And I can say there's a young lady sitting in the third row. I could see her eyes. She was so focused, grasping everything. So, Mrs. Mal Ms. Malloy, sorry, you did a great job. And thank you for, for addressing our students. Wonderful. Another round of applause, everybody. Yes, yes. And it is now time for our graduates to respond. Put your hands together for the graduating class at this time, everyone. All right. Uh, so just before we have the, uh, the response, Coming from the grad ones, we are going to be inviting Devon Williams to come and he will say thanks to our guest speaker.
Good day, school. Miss Malloy. On behalf of the graduates of Denby High School 2022-2023, I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to you, our esteemed guest. Truly, your message has inspired us to become stalwarts of change, <laughs> stalwarts of change, and to positively shape the, up the upcoming society. Our minds have been fully equipped to mobilize as we embrace the journey ahead. We salute you on your pursuit ahead as you seek to encourage and enlighten. Again, thank you, Ms. Malloy, for your wise words of counsel. An Aqua Nation, thank you. Another round of applause, everyone. Thank you so very much, Mr. Williams. And uh, just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, that um, the gift basket that was presented to our keynote speaker, all the items there are from our human ecology department. Yes, yes. No, clap the department, please. Sure. Yeah. And not only that, there is a lovely portrait done by Mr. Five. He is a past HOD of the Visual Arts Department. So as we said, yes, talent overload. Overload. Denby High School. Overload indeed. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, our graduates, they are ready. Are you ready? Yes, they are. You are. I know you are. Uh, they will be uh, giving their response. They will be doing their item at this time. Put your hands together, everyone. Everybody, put your hands together for the graduating class. And we begin one, two, three. All right, thank you so very much. And yes, you may take your seats at this time. At this time, we'll be having the valedictory speech, and it will be done by... All right, I know we are excited for our valedictorians. However, before they come... We will be having the song, and yes, parents, relatives, family members, loved ones, this is the moment that we hear from our lovely graduates.
testing, testing. Yeah. Try to take me out Hit me with this brush and knock me down But I'm still standing after all I've been through I survived it all and it's because of you Graduates, no, no matter the struggle or the obstacle in our way, we can get over it. We made it. Never lose hope.
Come on, everybody, put your hands together for our graduates. Thank you very much, Madam Director. Yes, man, and as usual, the band. <laughs> Don't worry, they're going to sing again for you. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to have our valedictory speech. And this, so the valedictory speech will be done by Abigail Dawkins and Giovanni Walters. Put your hands together and welcome our valedictorians. Good evening, everyone. All protocols observed. It is Michael Bassey Johnson, an author, who stated, Butterflies are not called butterflies overnight. They have to undergo tons of changes in order to acquire that name. Today marks an important milestone in our lives as we metamorphosize into beautiful butterflies. A moment we have been working towards for years. We are on the brink of flying off into the unknown and we reflect on our journey from eggs to butterfly here at the Aqua Nation headquarters. On Monday, September 3, 2023, approximately 300 eggs were laid, clad in our aqua, khaki and white, anticipating the new journey that awaited us. Our parents and guardians were proud to see us going out to high school. One by one, we walked through the gates, looking for our friends that would be here with us from primary school and the ones we made from summer school, and wondering what the experiences at our new school would be like. Upon entering grade seven, we were welcomed by our grade coordinators and form teachers who were given the charge of ensuring that the conditions were right for us to hatch. We were told from the onset what we needed to do to metamorphosize. In order to graduate from them behind, you will have to attend well, perform well, and behave well. This, accompanied by the Bible, the handbook, provided the warmth and moisture that the eggs needed to hatch. However, this warmth and moisture came with challenges. There were times when the weather was too cold, but Coordinator Williamson would lecture us back to warmth. If you dared to speak to her in Jamaican Creole, you would have to say it over and over again until you got it right. If we were not in our classes on time in the mornings, we got a lecture. If we were not groomed correctly, lecture. If we were not at school on time, lecture. If the classrooms were dirty after lunch, lecture. If one student said or did something disrespectful, lecture. Everything resulted in a lecture. And sometimes a ticket. Every time in the mornings and after lunch, we would linger in the corridors until we heard our watchman saying, Will you come? Will you come? We ran to our seats and pretended as if we were being productive. Not to mention how she stressed us about the literature books when we were reading them. She also pushed the majority of us to do speech and drama. I'm sure we can all remember the hours we spent rehearsing after school, on Sundays, and even one Saturday. We did tired, but not her though. She always had the energy to force us into saying the poems until we got them perfect. The two poems were Revelation 2-2. Two, two. I 
and Jamaican market vendors by Makeda Beans. Even though Mr. Anaki was not one of our teachers, everyone knew him because of his lawn, this lawn that we are currently on. If anyone was ever caught walking on it, we would be up for an embarrassing moment. Little girl. boy, get off the lawn. <laughs> In June 2019, we had our social event, Tea Party, under the theme, Unleashing Greatness Through Discipline and Academic Excellence, which was planned by our great coordinators. The masters of ceremony were Mr. Jeffrey Dawkins and Clarendon Festival Queen, Miss Danisha Garden. Can you imagine? The tea party was our first event, and Mr. Dawkins was there with us. And today, our last event, he is here with us again. Thank you, Mr. Dawkins. We got the chance to dress up and show up who could walk in heels and who looked dapper in their jacket suits. Many of the females attended the University of YouTube for a crash course in Makeup 101, but unfortunately, the majority of them ended with a failing grade. This did not prevent them from entering the pageant with the representatives from each grade 7 class. They did many performances and they did exceptionally well. At the end of the pageant, the representatives of Seven Dominica were crowned the winners. Are they here today? We experienced our first sports week. When we saw the diagram of the cross-country route, we thought that this was impossible. How were we supposed to complete this and still be alive at the end? Many of us took on the challenge. Some fell by the wayside and some had to be picked up while others of us endured to the end. Some saw it as an opportunity to model, but funny enough, didn't make it halfway up the road before a nurse came to the rescue. We had a whole week and of sporting activities, and we were all excited to participate to show off our sporting talents. Kenesia Roberts, Abigail Williams, Jordan Chambers, Jamelia Brown, Dante Graham, Alexander Dixon, Roger Jagannath, Marilyn Murray, and Adrian Miller are just a few of the many students who excel in our sporting activities. Our ceremony was a bang. It was a proud moment for us when we watched our classmates being awarded for their performances in the exams. We were the loudest cheerleaders among the student population. Right, Camelia and Xavier? In September 2019, the eggs were hatched, and we were now lavas or caterpillars, as they are commonly called. By now, we were conversant with most, if not all, our batchmates. The new great coordinators, Miss Dainty McDonald and Miss Dana Dawkins, greeted us and got us settled in our classes. They realized that we were now caterpillars, and we needed a lot of food. The nourishment was given in the form of many class initiatives, class party, and games day. Once again, we enjoyed every event that was held. Jeans day, heritage day, choral service, teachers concert, and Jamaica day are just a few. The teachers concert was spectacular. We were thoroughly entertained with entertainers like, entertainers like Spice, Miss Richard, and Miss Anshensia, Mrs. Marson. Actors, dancers, singers, DJs, and models. The performances were more than entertaining. We, had, we all had a grand time laughing. From the planning to the performance was immaculate. What a good thing our teachers are all rounded. The National Jamaica Day that was held on the field behind us was not one to miss. What a huge stage. A massive tent for the audience and a fine array of dazzling colors of smaller tents to host the various booths of entrepreneur was a testament to this spectacle. The event featured persons including Faye Ellington, Olivia Babsy Grange, 
the Honorable Carl Samuda, and Kevin Dunswell. The driveway to my right was repaved, and we were grateful for that. Demby was on show, and of course, we rose to the occasion. It was now March 2020, and as caterpillars, we were having a ball, feeding off the nutritious leaves that were placed before us. On Thursday, March 13, Principal Jalal got on the PA system and announced that Prime Minister, Prime Minister Andrew Holness had declared all schools closed for two weeks due to one positive case of COVID-19 being present in Jamaica. Do you remember that moment? What a celebration we had because we were getting holidays early. Then we made the smooth transition to online school and us caterpillars continued to get our nourishment. We were so excited to experience this. But the joke was on us. And the two weeks of holidays became two years of torture. Although we raided our parents' refrigerators, the, the add to an in Although we raided our parents' refrigerators, the thought of getting out of bed to attend classes online at 8 a.m. was not a welcoming one. And to add insult to injury, we had to be dressed in our uniform, school polo shirts, or PE top. We had to change our profile pictures to one with us in our uniforms. We had to have our cameras on, and the live clockwork, the teachers didn't miss a beat. The Google classrooms were filled with notes and activities. Some of us had internet challenges, device challenges, and some just decided to play video games instead of going to class. We quickly learned the joy of saying, Miss, my data is low, so I have to turn off my camera. For the poor teachers who are still calling our names and awaiting a response, we apologize. <laughs> After a while, we began to miss our friends and wanted to return to face-to-face, -face, so we constantly had our hopes up. But then, being disappointed made us demotivated. This social distancing was social torture. Despite these challenges, our teachers still made their best efforts to ensure we still experienced things such as our social grace events, evening of excellence online. A few of our batchmates showed their outfits using the then trending Don't Rush Challenge. Do you remember the virtual sports day and all the jugglers? Denby really was creative. The chrysalis stage was up on us and we thought we would enter this face to face but COVID had a different plan. The country was still under lockdown, and so we spent this year online. We were now in grade, grade nine. Our great coordinators, Ms. Sheena Davis and Mrs. Annie Chambers-Brown, still tried their best to ensure that we experienced things we would have if we were at school face-to-face. -face. Sports day, choral service, Jamaica day, they were all online. Without being able to attend face-to-face, -face, we were at a disadvantage as things we took for granted we now truly miss. Taking the bus, walking up Jackson Street with our friends, we even miss general devotions. Well, maybe not so much. But just being around our peers was really a struggle. Learning online showed a drop in our grade. While many experienced a spike, thanks to good old Google, can I get an amen? amen? There were many of us who preferred to surf the internet and be on social media platforms rather than to attend classes. And we became skilled at attending classes and watching Netflix at the same time. We, were far, we, we experienced far more freedom and were constantly told to take responsibility of our learning. To this, to us, this meant taping our lessons and trying to screenshot the notes rather than write them. Teachers, teachers had to be quick with giving their last word, as when it hit 2.30 p.m., we all logged up faster than you could say, one, two, three. Grade nine was a whole different thing to itself. Sleeping in and not logging onto class or logging in and leaving our devices on their own was a norm. 
The second, the second term came around and we were looking forward to our social grace event, prom. But unfortunately, that did not happen. Once again, COVID took that from us. We were saddened by this because we were looking forward to getting all dressed up and enjoying ourselves with our friends. COVID, why do we so? Why do we, John? After a few months, we were in our final month of grade nine. At the end of the school year, farms were sent out to students for them to choose the subject they would want to study in the upcoming grade. The chrysalis stage continued over into grade 10 and our grade coordinators were now Miss Bobette Morgan and Mr. Kirk Stewart, who were entrusted with the task of, to provide guidance and assistance as we continue to metamorphosize. Our first term in grade 10 was spent online. Although it was not in our favor, we had to live with it. Being introduced to our new subject teachers and receiving our first reports while being in upper school were all done online. This was the time when some students decided to buckle down as these were the subjects we would be doing in CSEC. We had already lost almost all our hope of going back to school face to face. At this point, we were just surviving the days, and some were still avoiding classes. The excitement and joy we felt when we were told we would be going back to face-to-face -to -face school was immeasurable. Upon, re upon returning to school face-to-face, -to -face, we were told to follow certain safety protocols, and we gladly complied. We were ecstatic to be relieved from being forced to learn through a screen and barely seeing our friends, from having our events online and from feeling demotivated, from parents who did not realize that we were, home at, we were at home but at school and could not do the chores during class time. We started to get in tune with learning as interest sparked, and we could now pester our teachers to our heart's content and grasp the concepts with greater understanding. We were not only glad to be back to school for learning, but also to be able to enjoy the different activities that were held before and to share those memories with our friends. And not to mention, we were back to getting our lunch money each day. On the morning of our annual cross country race, a gloom was cast on us, as on us when we heard that one of our chrysalis Poopers, Kevin Tamlin, a student of grade of 10 Cuba, left us. He was a good friend to many, therefore, his passing took a toll on us. Thankfully, our guidance counselors were there to console us. We know if he were here, he would have been sitting right here with us. The role reversal day was another event we were longing to experience. We were always excited and intrigued to see our teachers in their high school uniform and grade 11 and 6 farm students took over as teachers for the day. The peak of last year's role reversal day was when Mr. Douglas, our then vice principal, did Lego the bird. Come show them now, sir. <laughs> Sir, have you learned any other dances? Can't show them what you learned. After coming back from being online and being robbed of two of our social graces event, we were finally getting to experience our prayer breakfast. After reading and taking our petition into consideration, our principal, vice principals, great coordinators decided to let us have a brunch instead and allowed us to dress up. We did not let this moment, this opportunity pass by. 
we came out in our numbers and we enjoyed ourselves. Ourselves. At this point, it appeared as if no one went to the University of YouTube for a crash course in Makeup 101 as they were all properly dolled up. We had some sad times along the way which had a significant impact on our experience. In May and June 2022, we lost two members of the Aqua family who served the school well, Mr. Desmond McKenzie and Mr. Everton Anaki. During his time at Denby High, Mr. McKenzie served as a lab tech and the school's paparazzi. Although he had retired when he passed on, once family, you are always family, and he will always be in our hearts. No matter how small the event was, he was always there with his cameras, taking pictures and videos, and patiently taught us the art of chess. He was a kind-hearted person who always made the best efforts to assist in any way he could and got the best shots at any event. Mr. Anaki was devoted to Denby High. His years of continuous service did not go in vain. As small as he was, his voice could be heard from far away. If he was here today, I am sure we would have heard him say, Lick a boy, lick a girl. He was a stern disciplinarian who did not stand for foolishness, but also had a jovial personality. He was a mentor and teacher to many, therefore his memories will continue to live on. We now observe a moment of silence for the three persons who passed. Prefect interviews came around and left many of us shaken. We memorized the mission statement the core values, and became true ambassadors of the school as we could recount the many accomplishments of the school and why Denby High stood out against all other schools. As grade 10 came to its close, we were immersed in the garden of SBAs. We wrapped ourselves in the cocoon of the workload as our teachers reminded us that if we failed the SBA, we failed the exam. In September 2022, the metamorphosis was completed. We split the pupal case and emerged as fully developed adult butterflies. We stepped into our most crucial and important grade of all, grade 11. It was our last leg of high school. We were welcomed by our great coordinators, Mr. Kirk Stewart and Ms. Yolan Webb. Many of us were now butterflies with major responsibilities, prefects and student leaders. We were encouraged by our great coordinators to settle down and do our best. We can recall our many great devotions, being reminded of all the things that could prevent us from making the graduation list. And we worked hard to ensure that we could not be eliminated. As senior students, we were reminded that we ought to behave in a particular manner and to avoid the lower school block. Though this was a challenge for many. Right, DeMarco? In November of 2022, we held our first event for the school term called Kachi Hat. The students were allowed to wear and catch their hats and the teachers put on many activities for the students. After being online for two years, the time came again for our annual awards ceremony. The students from the different grade levels were awarded for their outstanding achievements in academics and sports. A few months into grade 11, our principal, Mrs. Janice Jalal, informed us that she would be going on leave. Although we would miss her dearly, we still sent her off with our best wishes. One of our vice principals, Mr. Jeffrey Douglas took over from her temporarily. Oh, how we looked forward to seeing Mr. Douglas patrol the school in his colorful socks, which always matched his outfit. We tried to stay clear of Mrs. Gordon Denton, one of our vice principals, who should have had a position with the FBI. 
When January came around, Principal Jalal went off on her well-earned vacation leave, and Mr. Douglas took over the leadership of the institution. As a result, our Dean of Discipline, Mrs. Jevy johnson Mathy, acted as Vice Principal for four months. Mrs. Phoebe Humes was now acting as the Dean of Discipline, and I can tell you that she had everyone running for cover. She was a force to be reckoned with. We, were, we, always, we also realized that it was crunch time as our CSEC examinations were knocking on our door and SBA's deadline was staring us straight in the eyes. We finished them with the help of our teachers and those who did not start studying started. Procrastination was our biggest enemy, yet we overcame it. As the examination season swiftly approached, we were busy getting prepared. We sat our last examination on June 16, 2023. In the last term of grade 11, Ms. Yolorn Webb started to act as the vice principal, hence Mrs. Shereen Evans, who was a teacher known by many of us, became one of our grade coordinators for the rest of the school year. As, as our, our journey, journey together, together ends here, here we, we will never forget, forget the five years we shared together. We, we want to express our gratitude to our fellow graduates, our families, our teachers, and, and all those who have supported us throughout our academic journey. We have all worked incredibly hard to reach this moment, and we are honored to stand before you as representatives of our graduating class. As we move forward, we encourage our fellow graduates to continue to pursue excellence and to be leaders in everything we do. We have the power to make a positive impact on the world, and it is up to us to use our knowledge and skills to create a better future for all. We also want to remind our fellow graduates that success is not just about achieving our goals, but it is also about the journey we take to get there. We have faced challenges, setbacks, and obstacles along the way, but those experiences have made us stronger and more resilient. So let us celebrate this moment and, and all that we have accomplished. Let us take pride in our achievements, but let us also remember that our education does not end here. We must continue to learn, grow, and strive for excellence in all that we do. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Thank you for the memories the laughter, and the friendships that we have shared. We wish you all the best in your future, future endeavors. endeavors. We, we made it! it. Come on, put your hands together one more time, everyone, for Giovanni Walters and Abigail Dawkins. Graduates, you made it! Yes, indeed, you made it. We are now at that point in our program where we want to make the presentations of certificates and awards to all our graduates. Now, to make the presentations to all our graduates, we are going to be inviting the grade coordinators of grade 11. They will come forward at this time. So, we welcome Mr. Kirk Stewart. And Ms. Shereen Evans. Good afternoon, everyone.
we introduce to you our graduates of 2023. Make some noise for them. Graduates, make some noise for yourselves. All right, 11 Barbados, are you ready? At this time, we invite Mrs. Henry to stand with us. Ms. Evelyn Henry, Mrs. Come on, put your hands together for Miss Henry. Principal of Osborne Store Primary. Former teacher of Denby High School. Former sixth form coordinator. Come on, make some noise Come for on, her. Come on, guardians, give Miss Henry, Mrs. Henry a hand. All right, so we're going to be starting with 11 Barbados. Barbados, please stand. start with 11 Barbados. We have Ariana Allen. Come on, graduates, cheer on here. Move on. Shade Bailey. Sani Bahu. Alian Blackstock. Come on, parents. You have a job to do. As their names are called, you cheer them on. Tiana Blackstock. We present to you name. Come on, give it up for Sia, Ciara Campbell. What's here? Anika Clark. Oshin Davis. Paris the Hearty. Brianna Ennis. And I'll take honor in presenting to you, ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Evans. Yes, Mrs. Evans, your daughter. We all know. Kayana Gale. Krishmar Gale. Amelia Griffiths. Ajani Hanson. Ava.
Adrian Harrison. Michaela Kirby. Dana Lawrence. Mahalia McLean. Andre Morgan. Kayla Ogilvy. Azalea Simpson. The lovely Nashe Simpson. Shelvanti South. Rahul Surgeon Jodian Thompson Welder C. Walker Come on, Chief. Keep the applause going. Dana Williams. Tajal Williams. Tiffany Williams. We thank Mrs. Henry. Thank you very much. Give 11 Come on, give Mrs. Henry, a, Mrs. Henry a clap, please. At and this time, we're going to invite Mrs. Porter to come at this time. As we ask 11 Cuba to stand. All right, there's somebody who's excited. 11 Cuba, are you ready? Make some noise. Right, we hear you, we hear you. This is Porter, former principal of Dembe High School. She's a third principal of Dembe High School. 
At this time, we have Shakira Adolphus. Followed by Kiara Anderson. Christina Bailey. Jamelia Brown. Leonardo Bryan. Leon Byfield. Followed by Dominic Davis. Valedictorian Abigail Dawkins. Alexander Dixon. Odigi Egariba. Sherian Elliott. Kimo. Dejon Goldberg. Brianna Hamilton. Sorry about that. We now have Kimoy Fuller. Brianna Hamilton. Tavarn Hill. Followed by the Mario Mickey. Christopher McLean. Michaela Miller. Come on, give it up for Michaela Miller. Nathaniel Parks. Kashima Powell. Is that really? 
Rayleigh Ricketts. Kemar Powell. Joshua Cena. Trishana Shaw. Tonian Simmons. The vivacious Padma Tawari Mark Wayne Thomas. Tashana Thompson. Maria Wellington. Amelia Williams. Angel Williams. Michaela Williams. Come on, give it up for 11 Cuba. Thank you very much, Mrs. Porter, for your service. Thank you very much. At this time, coming to us is Miss Grant, our PTA president. Come on, give a hand for Miss Grant. And oh, we uh, invite 11 Dominica to stand. Come on, make some noise, 11 Dominica. Yeah, it's your day. My apologies, is it Mrs. Grant? Mrs. Grant. Come on, we're the parents of 11 Dominica. Cheer them on as they move to the stage. Cheer them on. They've done well. Right. At this time, we have the John Allison. Barry Anderson. Come on, Guardians, you need to make some noise. Give it up for Olivia Bell. Shauna Blake. Give it up our musician, Never You Campbell.
We have Miss Brianna Codner. Rihanna Dawkins. Kevin Douglas. Alicia Edwards. Annalie Fagan. Balvin Ferron. Mariska Palamore. Jordan Garden. Anika Henry. Von Byrne Jackson. Delano Lewis. Shamar Manning. Jordan McDonald. Miss Alicia McLean. Rihanna Messam. Bradley Minot. Javon Osborne. Daniel Richards. Candy Richards. Deandra Robinson. Levon Stop. Nevi Taylor. Janique Thompson. Come on, Greta, make some noise. Make some noise. Mr. Musician himself. Williams Nashana Williams Kamily Witter We're going to ask 11 Grenada to stand at this time. That's it's, it for the money. We're going to use the continue with you. <laughs> Put your hands together for 11 Dominica. We welcome 
11 Grenada. Nakero Austin. Sheila K. Beckford. Javine Bent. Peter Shea Booth. Abriana Braham. Tashane Campbell. Calicia Da Costa. Romario Dawkins. Give it a ball on it, baller, Janelle Dunkley. Adriano Green. Rajay Jagannath. Deandra Johnson. Michaela McKenzie. Sound. Marlon Murray. Romario Neymar. Xavier Porter. Demaro Powell. Sherry Gay Price. Karan Thomas. Come on, grab it and show that. Therese Thomas. Therese Thomas. Kefana Weir. Abigail Williams. Jayana Wright. Come on, put your hands together for 11, jump. For 11, Grenada, and we're moving on to 11, Jamaica. What go on, Jamaica? Thank you, Mrs. King. Thank you very much. At this time, we're going to invite Mrs. Natalie Bailey Harrison.
from First Caribbean Bank, the manager of First Caribbean Bank. Come on, give her a hand. Right here. Michaela Angel. Chardonnay Bartley. Christy Bogle. Ashley Bonner. Rihanna Campbell. Jason Shanner. Serene Cooper. Janelle Davy. Demoya Dunkley. This handsome fellow, Nathaniel Evans. Boy, when is their son? They can show off. Michaela Ferron. Malika Ferron. Dante Gall. Deshane Grant. Jaden Haynes. Sienna Howe. Shakina Lyons. Jermaine McIntyre. Casey Ann McPherson. Alicia Palmer. Morgana Richardson. Alisa Scott. Spencer Jordan Thomas Janai Thompson Our valedictorian Giovanni Walters Last but not least, Nikoi White. Come on, put your hands together for 11 Jamaica as they exit. Thank you very much, Mrs. Harrison. Thank you very much. Come on, graduates, give Mrs. Harrison a hand. I'm not hearing you, graduates. At this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Holmes, the outgoing vice president of the TA, Mr. Holmes. Come on, give him a hand as he come. Put your hands together for Mr. Holmes. 
11 St. Lucia, are you ready? Come on, make some noise, 11 St. Lucia. All right, that's it right there. Alia Anderson. Britannia Baker. Brianna Barnes. Michaela Blackstock. Abigail Boone. Jody Brown. O'Neill Burrell. Jada Jo Burton. DeAndre Davy. Trey Donald. Tashmarie Ibang. Tajana Eunice. Corona Facey. Dante Graham. Alicia Grison. Nikolai Anson. Kibian Johnson. Timoy Peggy. Casian Morrison, Tyreek Munda, Jordan Palmer, Chalicia Reed, Rock. Ramona Reed. Our next baller, Kenesia Roberts. Jamaria Simpson. Giovanni Spalling. Andriana Stewart. Okelia Thompson. Daniel Turner. Javon Washington. Kalia Williams. And the talented Shaliva Williams. Williamson. That's it for 11 St. Lucia. Put your hands together for them. Come on, not here, you're clapping. Give it, give it, clap, clap. 
Levin, Trinidad, and Tobago. We have Lamika Bryan. Amaria Coleman. Redain Goldberg. Shanake Grant. Demario De Sinclair. All right, that's it for 11 Trinidad and Tobago. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the graduates of 2023. At this time, we invite all the presenters on stage. Mr. Holmes, Ms. Aronson, Mrs. Porter, Mrs. Grant, about anyone? Mrs. Henry. Henry, graduates, be seated. Graduates, be seated. Yes, on behalf of them behind school, we say a big thank you for showing up today and kissing us. Come on, give a hand for Mrs. Henry. Mrs. Porter, we are very grateful today for you gracing us with your presence. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. Mrs. Grant, God bless you on behalf of them behind school. Continue to serve. Mrs. Harrison, we are now grateful for your kindness and your time you have taken out to be here with our graduates. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. Mr. Holmes, Miss Lynch, do the honors. All right, thank you very much, presenters. May the Lord bless you. All right, it's time. This is, Mrs. Webb is coming at this time to do some. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to ask all of my beautiful graduates to get back into their places now. Parents, I want you to cooperate with us. I know the rain is on us, but if they're not in their places, it's going to hold us up longer. So we're asking the persons who are pulling the graduates to take pictures to please desist and allow them to finish their function properly. Everything must be done decently and in order. So the graduates who are out of their places now, please get back to your places. There are parents who still have the graduates at the back of the ceremony. Could you please release the graduates now? so that we can continue. Teachers who are around, could you please assist me in getting the graduates back to their places?
Good evening. Good evening, everyone. It is raining, showers of blessings, so we need to hurry up and get yes, out please. of here. We are here to present to you the graduates who will be receiving special awards, and we will start off with the areas, uh, subject areas. We ask the subject teachers to please stand by as we will be doing those presentations at this time. For mechanical technology, we have Sorry. For agricultural science, we have Xavier Porto. Teachers, if you know that a student will be awarded in your subject area, please get a little closer. Chemistry. In the area of chemistry, the most outstanding graduate, and the most outstanding student, was Olivia Bell. And in the area of chemistry, sorry, biology, the most outstanding student was Olivia Bell. In the area of mathematics, that subject we don't like. No, 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 not at all. The top student, none other than Verona McLean. And in the area of physics, another challenging area, the top student is Nakero Austin. Now, this student, I'm just going to be calling all the areas that she has excelled in so that she doesn't have to keep coming up. In the area of clothing, fashion, and textiles. In the area of geography. In the area of information technology. None other than Xavier Porter. Clothing, fashion and textiles, geography, and information technology. Could I ask those teachers to please come up? Those three subject areas. Information technology, HOD Miss Willis is here. In the area of cosmetology, Jodian Thompson. Jodian Thompson is also being awarded for being the top student in the area of principles of accounts. She's also awarded for being the top student in the area of principles of business. And she has multiple awards, so we have to allow her to take with her teachers. Mm -hmm. And we have in the area of English A. Now, this student has topped in the area of English A, also in human and social biology, as well as in office administration. 
And that's none other than our valedictorian, Abigail Dawkins. That's for English A, Human and Social Biology, and Office Administration. And human and social biology, Mr. Okay, she got that. And OA, thank you. Our next awardee is in the is for the area of electrical installation. And that's no other than Olivia Bell. Our next top awardee excels in the area of English B and history. She's none other than Camelia Griffiths. In the area of social studies and family resource management, our awardee this afternoon is no other than oh, no other than Paris Doherty. In the area of food, nutrition, and health, Demaro Powell. In the area of integrated science, we have James Campbell. In the area of mechanical technology, Nakei Ro Austin. In the area of physical education and sports, we have Shelvanti South and Janae Thompson. Shelvanti South and Janae Thompson. In the area of Spanish, Mahalia McLean. In the area of visual arts, we have Jabon Osborne. For technical drawing, we have Shaliva Williamson.
in the area of building technology, Jadane Haynes. The building teachers. Okay. So those are, are our recipients of the awards for the different subject areas. And we sat and we enjoyed the band, the Aquasonic Band, as they entertained us this afternoon. And so we have some members of our graduating class who are members of the Aquasonic Band and they will be awarded for their contribution to the band. We want to thank especially these band members. They are called upon every general devotion, and they are called upon on a whim anytime any visitors are here, and they also represent us in whatever area, and they are the second Place. national band in Jamaica in the band competition. There is another award for Spanish, and this will be given to no other than Tiana Blackstock. And we now call on all the members of the Aquasonic Band who are graduating this year. And they are. We're gonna call on our principal to do the awards to the band. Shade Bailey. Gabriel Evans. Verona McLean. Devontae Williams. Devonne Williams, sorry. Neville Hugh Campbell. Shalif Williams. Put your hands together for Aquasonic. And now we have our special awards. Now these persons have been outstanding in various areas and they therefore are recipients of trophies. Where the recipient is absent, we will ask a member of staff to kindly fill in and do the presentation. So if you are here and you are representing the body that has donated these awards, we ask you to come forward at this time. The Jeffrey Reed Trophy. And this is a trophy which goes to the student with outstanding performance in agriculture. And the recipient this year is Shaliva Williamson. The Alama Johnson Carr Award for the Outstanding Custodian of Books goes to Sienna Howe. And the Past Students Association Spirit Award goes to none other than Gabrielle Evans. And while Gabrielle is making her way to the stage, 
we will announce that the Othney Williams Lion Award for the commendable display of school loyalty goes to no other than Kyle Keane. And that award is for commendable display of school loyalty. The Kamisha Ellis Gem Award. This goes to the most well-rounded female student. And the recipient this year is none other than Gabrielle Evans. The James and Friends Scholarship Award will go to Solicia Edwards and Kipana Ware. And this presentation will be done by Hold on, the presenter is here. Oh, Miss, Mrs. Manning. Mrs. Manning will be handing on for the James, James and, and Friends. Friends Scholarship. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. To our chairpersons and all the distinguished guests here, graduates, good evening. This evening I have with me one of the, where's she, come on. I have with me one of the youngest sponsors in the James and Friends Foundation, Anya Heyman, and she's going to be doing the presentations this evening. The James and Friends Foundation has been in existence for over 19 years, and so this evening we're awarding three persons. The first person I want to invite is Celicia Edwards. Celicia Edwards. Now, Celicia Edwards is receiving the Designer Leobrium Couture Scholarship, and that is for the designing of her new uniform for sixth form. She's also receiving a scholarship for $200,000 for the sixth form program. Now, this scholarship will take her also into university um, based upon her performance. Next person we're going to be awarding is Rikalia McKenzie. Rikalia McKenzie, she's here. She's not here. Rikalia is also getting a two year scholarship. Valued at $200,000 for a sixth form also with the opportunity, with the opportunity of attending the university. Rikalia, she's coming. Come on, Rikalia, put your gown on and let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important to note that the James and Friends Foundation is assisting students. Come on, Rikalia, from the primary to the tertiary level. We have over 2,000 students in the program. We don't necessarily, come on, Rikalia. We don't necessarily look for persons who are financially incapacitated, but we also look for persons, most importantly, who are performing academically and need this financial assistance. So Rikalia will be getting $200,000, and that will take her through sixth form and, of course, possibility of the university. Oh, um, let's now invite Kefana Ware. Now, ladies and gentlemen, important to note that the Kefana Ware Scholarship is being presented by the youngest sponsor. She is the person who is sponsoring Kefana Ware. $200,000 for the sixth form program. Well done, Anya Heyman. And this, this scholarship will take her through university. And also, one of the things we need to say to you is that all these ladies will be qualified to, for the work and travel program 
on the James and Friends Foundation, all is based on performance. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lady Manning. And so we continue with more good news. The Sports Personality of the Year Award will go to Delano Lewis and Abigail Williams. And this is for outstanding involvement in the school in the area of sports. And Mr. Stevens. Mr. Stevens is coming. And we move on to the Winsome Allen Award for the Performing Arts. Graduates, who you think would get this one? Verona McLean. And the Arthur G. Bryant Trophy, the Arthur G. Bryant Trophy and also Cash Award for the best performance overall in mathematics, mathematics, sorry, will go to no other than Ferona McLean. Mr. Holmes will make that presentation on behalf of Arthur G. Brandt family member. And it is important to note that Arthur G. Brandt is the first principal of Denby High School when it started out in 1969. And then the award for the most improved boy, the Ashton Johnson Award. And this goes to none other than Mark Wayne Thomas. And of course, if you have a most improved boy, you'll have a most improved girl. And the Joan Wint Trophy for the most improved girl will go to Jamelia Brown. And to the graduate who is always at school, for best attendance, the Jean Porter Trophy, Najay Simpson. And she will be presented with this trophy by none other than past principal, Mrs. Jean Porter. And I know that this is a proud moment for Mrs. Porter because she knows Najay from she was a baby. Now, the Barbara Sharp Award for the top female academic performance will go to no other than Abigail Dawkins, our valedictorian. And for the top male academic performer, the Shirley Taylor Award goes to Giovanni Walters, our male valedictorian. Now the Lucille Wilkes Award for the male and female with the second highest average will be given to Demaro Powell and Camelia Griffiths. And we ask our principal to come and make these presentations. And it's important to note once more that Barbara Sharp, Shirley Taylor, and Lucille Wilkes are all past vice principals 
of Denby High School. And the Casson Troop Eagle Award for outstanding commitment to hard work and excellence goes to Shaliva Williamson. The Murray's Asan Trophy for the best academic performance will go to no other person this evening or is still afternoon. This afternoon than our valedictorian, female valedictorian, Abigail Dawkins. And the Principal's Award for Graduate of the Year also goes to our valedictorian, Abigail Dawkins! And I'm asking one outstanding member of each class to come and collect and present to your form teacher this evening. So one member of each class, can you just come to the right over here, you're going to make the presentation to your form teacher. And I'm going to be calling all the form teachers at this time. And I expect the classes to make some noise for their form teachers. In 11 Barbados, none other than Mr. D. Denton. 11 Cuba, none other than Mrs. Daniil Mitchell Powell. 11 Dominica, none other than Miss Lattie and Mrs. Grayson Davis. Students, please go to where Mr. Douglas is standing so that you can collect the token for your form teacher. Form teachers, please come up top. Form teachers, please come up top center. 11 Grenada, none other than Miss Miller. 11 Jamaica, Mrs. Simpson. 11 St. Lucia. Mr. Mr. Jackson and Miss McLean. 11 TNT, Miss Grant and Mr. Leon Patterson. 11. Mr. Jackson, are you nearby? Miss Grant is right here. Mr. Jackson. Miss McLean is not here. All right, just stand by. Mrs. Mitchell Powell. Miss Grant is here. She is a form teacher for. Come on, make some noise, 11 Cuba. Eleven TT, make some noise for Miss Grant. Miss Simpson and Mr. Jackson. Okay. When they come, we will do... Mrs. Grayson Davis is here. That Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Now, please permit me. You know, every school is governed by a board of management. And for the past three years, which is the life of the board... We have had members who have volunteered their service 
to serve Denby High School. This afternoon, or this afternoon, it is with pleasure that I stand here on behalf of Denby High School staff, all levels of staff, to say thanks to these board members. I will ask, oh, Mr. Douglas is already here. For their three years of volunteerism to guide us through challenging times. We could not have gone through the pandemic without your support. Please accept this award as an expression of our appreciation for your service. And I will call on the members who are here to accept their award now. Mr. Joel Williams. Did Mr. Williams leave? Okay. Miss Chanel Brooks. And it is important to know that Miss Brooks is our student rep. And she was one of our dancers here this afternoon. She is our student council president. Miss Doreen Barrett. She is the, or she was the administrative representative on the board, the administrative staff representative, and she will continue to serve for the new board. Miss Donnett Rowe, our ancillary rep on the board. She was for the past three years and many years before that. Miss Donnett, Miss Rowe, we appreciate you. And our teacher rep, or the academic staff rep, was Mr. Kirk Stewart. Sir, we appreciate you. The other members served well. We have their awards, but they are not here this evening. And so it will be given to them at another appropriate time. Thank you very much. Graduates, the function is not yet finished, and I expect that you should be seated. Less than half of you are not in your seats at this time. The longer you take to return to your seat, the longer we'll be here, and the wetter we shall be. Mr. Dawkins. Thank you so very much, uh, Vice Principal Denton and Webb. Ladies and gentlemen, will you put your hands together one more time for all our graduates? Come on, parents, guardians, supporters, put your hands together for all the graduates. And we are truly, truly... Sorry, and our final presentation, we make to the hard-working grade coordinators who are in charge of the committee for graduation. None other than Mrs. Evans and Mr. Kirk Stewart. And I'm gonna ask Mr. Douglas to make the presentations to the great coordinators. Great Elevens, make some noise for your coordinators. So the tokens are being uh, presented to the great coordinator, Mrs. Evans and Mr. Kirk Stewart. Warm to them. Warm to them. All right. As we move right along, uh, we are almost at the very end. Yes, almost there. So we must have the vote of thanks at this time and we want to invite Camelia Griffiths to do the vote of thanks. Put your hands together for Camelia Griffiths coming to do the vote of thanks for us. Good afternoon everyone. Masters of Ceremony, Mr. Jeffrey Dawkins and Miss Okira Brown. Brown, 
Representatives of Custom Rotolium and past chairman Ado Brown, representatives of Re representative of Parliament and Councillor Mr. S Joel Williams, members of the clergy, Regional Director Mr. Barrington Richardson, Education Officer Mr. Harold Orton, guest speaker Mrs. Nadine Malloy, members of the Board of Management, past principals, acting principal Mr. Jeffrey Douglas. Vice Principal, Mrs. Diane Gordon Denton, Acting Vice Principal, Ms. Webb, other specially invited guests, teachers, students, members of the ancillary staff, fellow graduates. Good evening. <laughs> it is my privilege to have been asked to propose the vote of thanks on this special occasion. I, on behalf of the Denby High School family, and on my own behalf, Extends a Denby High School, sorry, extends a hearty gratitude to all who have contributed towards the success of this graduation exercise. Firstly, I must extend gratitude to the Almighty for granting us the privilege through His grace to be here at this moment. Sincere gratitude is extended to Mrs. Nadine Malloy, who has taken the time out of her busy schedule to tell us that we are not meant to be victims but we ought to be victors as the world is awaiting us and that we should surround ourselves with people and things that are good for us and leave it a little better than we found it. Mrs. Malloy, we have listened attentively to your words of encouragement and we guarantee that such words have not fallen on deaf ears. Special thanks to Mr. Joel William Counselor for gracing us with his presence this afternoon. Gratitude is extended to our valedictorians, Abigail Dawkins and Giovanni Walters for reminding us of our journey through Denby High School. To our representatives from the Ministry of Education, we are honored to have had you here this afternoon. We are grateful to the members of the clergy for interceding with God on our behalf. To the masters of ceremony, members of the academic and ancillary staff team, ancillary team, sorry, the production, catering team, and entertainment, a hearty gratitude is extended to you for going above and beyond in ensuring that this afternoon was a success. Lastly, and by no means least, sincere gratitude is extended to our parents for supporting us as we close this chapter of our lives. Thank you. Come on, another round of applause for Camelia Griffiths. Thank you, Thank you for Camilla. doing the vote of thanks, Camelia. All ah, right, everyone. So no. we are just about ready to get out of the rain. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now they say that all good things they must come to, to an end. An unfortunately. End. And uh, these graduates, they are closing this chapter of their lives, but many more chapters. Await them. Indeed. Yes, yes. And I want to say that it was indeed a pleasure uh, being a part of this graduation ceremony. And uh, Miss Brown, it was very, very, it was, it was indeed a pleasure working along with you. I must say <laughs> the same for me. I did enjoy having the opportunity to address each of you. And thank you all for coming to our valedictory service of 2023. Yes. Graduates, you made it. Graduates, you made it. And at this time, I invite everyone to stand. Please, everybody, please stand. We will be having the national anthem. It will be played. And afterwards, we will be having the recessional. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be allowing uh, the graduates to go out before the others of us move. So at this time, we will stand at attention for the national anthem of Jamaica.
Thank you so very much. We will now have our recessional. And we invite everyone to be seated until the graduates have departed. I will give you a 